Firefighters respond to more deadly house fires during the winter months. Space heaters are often to blame. Chris Harvey with Sacramento Fire Department is here to show us the do's and don'ts when it comes to using a portable heater to try to stay warm. And Chris, what is the message for everyone out there today? The main message is that heaters like this and this uh, oil heater here that plug into the wall that are run by electricity, these are safe for use indoors and in sleeping areas. Okay. Heaters like this that run off propane or this large heater here that runs off kerosene, these are not safe for use indoors. Anything that burns or has products of combustion, you can't have inside the house. And you've actually seen cases like this this year. What have you experienced uh, responding to calls? Yes, we've already had a couple of calls this year. We did have a call where a woman had a heater very similar to this in her bedroom with the doors closed. One of these cold nights we had a couple weeks ago. Um, produces a lot of carbon monoxide. She was lucky. Um, she woke up feeling ill, called 911. We arrived on scene. Our crews are able to bring air monitors into the house and they can find out how much carbon monoxide is. The levels were very that's, unsafe. That's very scary. And you're saying that a detector like this is only, what, $20? So, and this could really save a life. Yes, carbon monoxide detectors work very similar to smoke detectors in that you mount them on the wall near sleeping areas. They detect carbon monoxide that's in the air and they'll alert you. I won't push the button now, but it's important for people to test them to get used to the sound. Some of them sound very different it's than different. smoke is detectors. It's different. Is it still as loud? It's very loud, okay. yes. Kind of scary there. So the message for people, we're seeing more deadly house fires obviously in the winter and do people just not know this or they're just so cold that they're just doing anything to stay warm? I think in some cases um, the, the information is not out there where where um, a heater like this is advertised as being you know safe for use indoors but when 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 you bring this inside it's only for use like garages and shops. You okay. really don't want this in sleeping areas or, or in bedrooms and so it's important yeah. to get the message out there. And you would think someone can get burned as well. That's another thing too is a, a heater like this even though it does have a guard on it similar to this this has a guard but still puts off a lot of heat and it can be a source of ignition if you have it near something like you know plants or sure. clothing or things like that so would you say even with the detector just try not to put those indoor at all why even risk it yeah like like I said these are safe for use in like garages and shops areas that are very well ventilated big open areas not sleeping areas if you're gonna bring a heater inside for sleeping make sure it's something that plugs into the wall and runs off electricity and not to mention that children can get hurt to just being around these yes these that have these heating elements on them they do get very hot again there's a guard on the front but even getting close to it, you can get burned. But you see people taking drastic measures as well as even being a bar, a bringing one of those portable barbecue yes. pits inside. So the message there. Yes, anything that burns, you can't have it indoors. Okay, and this, the spike so far, do you have any numbers for us on the number of fires or you just know you've responded to incidents? Yeah, we have had some incidents, uh, several uh, at the end of last year. We did have um, a couple of fatality fires, unfortunately. Okay. Um, and then this year so far, we haven't had uh, any fatality fires, but we have had some carbon monoxide issues. Wow, and so people just trying to stay warm, but they do need to be aware, and they can go to any store, I assume, to find this carbon monoxide detector. Yeah, they sell these at okay. you know at your corner, Walgreens, Rite Aid, okay. things like that, or a grocery and store. Do you happen to have a program where if someone can't afford one, they come to the fire department? Do you guys have any to distribute? We often partner. Uh, we recently had a, a partnership with the American Red Cross. Uh, we also have one coming up later in January with. Um, um, uh, Home Depot for smoke detectors and they will also often give out carbon monoxide detectors. They're a little bit more expensive sometimes, okay. but there are agencies that will give them out. Okay, good to know. Everyone be safe out there. Chris Harvey with Sacramento Fire Department. Thank you so much for joining us and letting us know how to be safe this Thank winter. You. Okay.